Hey, what's up y'all? It's Yolo and I am back with another video today. Um, so today's video is a little different. I've never done a hair video or anything like that on this channel. So we gonna see. Anyway, today we'll be trying this U-part wig from Love Me Hair. It is Yaki Straight, I believe. Um, I had just washed it and I blow dried it. So it's a little straighter than it came originally, but you can still kind of see the wave pattern in the hair. So I've worn this wig like maybe twice. Um, it fits pretty well. Um, I definitely say it is big head friendly. Um, I got a pretty big head, so it fit well. A little bigger than I wanted, um, just over my ears, but my ears kind of do sit up a little high. So anyways, it comes with these three clips, which of course go around the part. Um, I have my part split in two right now because I am not good at parting on video. It has an adjustable strap right here, which is hard as hell to deal with, but honestly not that bad. You honestly could go without strapping it, but the strap makes it a little bit more secure. Um, the hair is very beautiful. Oh, and also a clip down here in the back. But the hair is very beautiful. It's very thick and full. Um, which is kind of why I wanted the Yaki straight to begin with. I initially got body wave, but then I asked to change my order and they were very accommodating about that. Yeah, I had just heard reviews about the body wave hair not being full enough when you actually get it. So I figured this would do. Okay, so let's just talk about what came in the box. So love me hair be hooking, it be hooking us up, okay. They got a lot of Good reviews on the things that they put in the box this is what the box looks like it is definitely a little run down because i've had this for like a week <laughs> came in this bag i have some other hair in here right now but it's a cute bag i'll probably use it as like a makeup bag or something also came with this little well okay let's just okay so the message at the top you cannot see this shit. can you see that okay I have no idea what it says actually. So, enjoy your hair journey from now on. Helena, the founder of Love Me Hair. So sweet. Okay, and then when you open the box, um, there's a couple of little goodies in here. So first, this is probably my favorite part. Um, the Love Me Hair little gift makeup bag thing. It says Love Me Hair on it. Um, you open it up, it is so cute. Um, it comes with this edge brush. There is, you know, the basic edge, edge brush, but I had never had an edge brush like this before, so I was definitely wanting it. So I was really hoping that I got it in this box and I got it. Um, I really don't even know what this is for. I'm guessing it, another way to adjust the wig, but I really don't know nothing about wigs. This is the first one I have ever bought. So um, this cute little clip, it says, love me. Oh, y'all cannot see that. Okay. Um, okay. It says love me. I know y'all probably do not look at my nails. Y'all probably cannot see that actually, but <laughs> it's cute. <laughs> but it's cute. Like, I haven't worn it yet, but I have been wanting one. They are very popular right now. Um, It came with some bobby pins. Oh, and some tweezers. Even though it is not that kind of wig where you have to pluck it and all that stuff because I'm not gonna lie, I don't know how to do that. But um, yeah, they did give tweezers, which I mean, hey, I am not complaining. Um, okay, so it came with this clip in. It is kind of, it's looking rough right now, but she's cute and she's very soft. She's not the same texture as the other hair, but I'm pretty sure it comes with two actually, but um, it'll blend fine, I think, I think. Okay, this is what everybody be talking about, um, the flat iron. It came with the flat iron. I have not used it. I have been using my own because I heard this doesn't straighten very well, but it is very cute. It says love me, of course, um, has this little pink color on it. Um, yeah, it was a very nice gift, so not gonna complain 
hella cute it's cute okay anywho um it came with some wig caps it came with some wig caps you okay to see that Mm, I have used a wig, wig cap once with this other, it was a headband wig that I got um, sometime this week. Um, but uh, you don't need it for the for this U part style, that's all I'm saying. But they did give it to you, so two of them. So if you need some wig caps. Uh, so that's pretty much it that came in the bag. That's pretty much it. Like. It's not a lot. It's a lot of stuff that came in the box. I'm not gonna lie. But, um, yeah, I just think that is very nice of them. I mean, probably one way or another we are paying for it. But it is very nice of them to surprise you with the gifts. I just think that is very sweet. Let's get into installing this wig. Okay, so, let me put this hair down. I keep picking up this wig. Um, so I just have, I braided my hair back and then put it in this little bun. I am not the best braider, cornrow, cornrow braider. I'm not the best braider, period. So um, I just did it so I have something to hook the clips to around um, and I parted this part in the middle. If you can see, it's not even that great, but it doesn't have to be perfect, I promise. So <laughs> I don't even know how this justifies as a wig. It is a U-part wig. It is basically just a big ass clip in. Let's just let's just put it on. Let's look at it. But yeah, this hair is so pretty. Okay, so I am going to start by putting putting these front three clips in. That's usually how I start. Um, and yeah, working my way around. better to braid just do a braid following the part um but since I barely know how to cornrow my damn self I do not do that <laughs> um so I just did the cornrows going back um but I definitely think it would be easier to manage the clips with the cornrow small cornrow going around the part um because just like right now this clip is literally popping out of place because of me, not because of the clip. So now I'm just going to <laughs> chow. I be going through it with this strap. I'm not, I really be going through it, but Sometimes it'll just get caught in the hair because I am not very great. But um, yeah. So you basically just strap it, kind of like a bra hook. Ooh, shut up, I'm sweating, I'm sweating, I'm sweating. Okay, so I strapped that and I'm going to clip this clip right underneath my bun. Um, you definitely wanna be careful not to put, not to put too much tension on any of the clips. You don't want it to be pulling your hair out. <laughs> this is supposed to be a protective style. So the goal is to not be bald headed when you take the wig off. Okay, let me, I should not have done this. I should not have done this. Every time I use rubber bands, I regret it. Oh, never mind. Okay. So I'm gonna just straighten this half. I'm gonna straighten this half of my leave out and yeah. I don't have no comb, that's what I forgot. Okay.
try to do one pass, but if it's not blending right, like you saw, I just go over my hair with the wig together. Um, but for the most part, just one pass through my hair because yeah, you already know. <music> Okay, so yes, I am mad because I cannot find, <laughs> I can never find anything like, like I knew I was forgetting something that was in the box. So, I'm just really hurt right now. Anyway, I was looking for the scarf that came with the hair. It says, love me, you know, everybody got it. Um, yeah, I probably lost it because I can't find it. I can't find it anywhere. Anyway, Christmas scarf it is, it is that season, okay? So don't talk about me, damn. Okay, all that is done, I'm going to lay these edges with this edge brush they gave me. Let me get it out of my pouch. Ooh. I really, I do not have a set edge routine because really my edges just do not like to lay down or my hair period. So if you know a good edge tamer, I use this and this. Ooh. Let me know in the comments um, a good edge tamer because my shit do not be lasting. It does not last. Okay, so... that is that on that so i'm gonna put the scarf on for like <laughs> i don't even know how long because i really don't have much patience um but since i actually do have to go somewhere i need to set them oh ooh, not the hair okay so i was just looking at the clip-ins right that they give this is my first time opening these and it's one i thought i told you i was two right psych Actually, okay, it's three. Okay, actually, I think this might have just, I think it might just be broken. Because, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why it just did this when I separated them. I think that shit is just broke, but it's, the clip is intact. So, hey, three is better than two. Okay, so it's literally probably been like a minute. Um, like I said, I am impatient. So I'm gonna take this junk off. I can tell it's just not ready, but I'm still gonna do it. Okay, off, boom, laid. The scarf is gone. Brush it back out. Make sure the leave out is blending. Has to blend, has to blend. Do not walk out the house. <laughs> Do not walk out your house without the leave out blending. Please don't. Please don't, guys. It's just not a good look. Do not walk out the house without a blending, y'all. Do not be lazy. Do not do it. That, I love this hair. It looks just like my hair. It looks just like it, like, if I had long hair, but, well, longer hair okay but it looks just like it that's what i'm 
by blending, okay? It has to blend. Don't walk out of the house without it. I'm trying to tell y'all, it's not going in well, and it's fall, it's windy. Well, I don't know where y'all live at, but in Colorado, it's windy, honey. I believe I will come right up. Okay, so I just take this oil or any oil really. Honestly, I try not to put oil on my hair too much because my hair is not good. Um, rub it in, put it on top of my hair. I know some people use like edge wax and stuff, but I do not have any. Um yeah, so this is the final look. Technically not the final look, but close. Because I'm gonna try these clip-ins that they sent. I'm gonna do the ones that are broken, okay? Because I wanna on both sides. The other one is a little big. Um, okay, so I don't know. I really don't know what I'm doing here. Like I said, I am new to wigs. This is like literally one of my first times. How do you even attach a clip into a freaking wig? Oh. Oh. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. I don't know how to do this. If anybody knows how to do this, please, please tell me because what? Is it just supposed to just sit there like that? Whatever. Um, I'm gonna comb that. <laughs> that looks crazy. Um, I'm gonna comb that. That's kind of cute. That's kind of cute. I can see how that could be cute. Maybe not necessarily on me. Um, yeah, so this is it with the clip-ins. I feel like I look like a raccoon or something. Maybe I just did not put them in the right spots. Um, this is it with the clip-ins. I don't think it's really going with the fall look that I'm looking for with this dress. Um, this is giving me more 2000s, 13-year-old rebellion. So I don't think I'm gonna be wearing this often, maybe in the summer. I'm not I'm not really a blonde person or color person. Um so don't listen to me. But I just wanted to show y'all what it looks like with it. I thought it was very nice that they added that in there. Some people look really good with this color, so honey, I'm not gonna hate. I'm not gonna hate. <laughs> so yeah. This is it. Um, I'll see you guys later. Bye. <laughs>